Welcome back. The Electric Aquarium and Reptile Den is helping students have fun while also being dedicated to education. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead is live in Scranton this morning with a look. Anya. That's right, Kelly. We're here at the Electric City Aquarium where we're learning about the octopus that they have who currently is nameless. So right now she's been doing a little thing all morning that she just did a couple minutes ago. She's been shedding her tentacles almost. Can you explain that for us, Lizette? Yeah, she's actually shedding the top layer of her suction cups on her tentacles. Um, so what she's doing right now is she's like twirling her tentacles around so that she can shut off the top layer of her suction cups that you can see float around in the water. They do this because they use their suction cups to sense their environment. So they shed the top layer so that they have a fresh new layer on the bottom so that they can like feel around even better. Kind of like you and I would shed our hair or grow out our nails. That's what they do with their suction cups as well. So our tank is not actually dirty. <laughs> she's just really excited this morning, so she's moving around a lot. And she is uh, shedding like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and now, when they also move around, that can be good for their self defense when they're in the wild. Uh, explain that a little bit. Yeah, so um, octopuses have this ability to actually mimic their environment. So they can actually change the texture as well as the color of their flesh to mimic. So if she wanted, she could actually go to the back of the tank where we have all the rocks and she could make herself look like a rock. And this can either be for self defense or it can be to actually catch a predator or, sorry, catch her prey because she is the predator. Um, so yeah, this is something that every octopus has in common, that they can just mimic their environment. It's an, it's an adaptation for self-defense. And now, since she is nameless right now, you're holding an uh, event or a, a thing contest. to uh, get her named. So tell us about that. Yeah, so we, are, we have this little contest going on our Facebook page for any school groups from K to 6 that can, can come up with a name for our giant Pacific octopus so that way she is not nameless. Uh, any longer and whomever whichever group wins they can come in see our octopus get a small tour of the aquarium as their little gift uh, for naming our octopus there you have it kelly so students and teachers alike get out there on facebook and get creative with helping to name the octopus at the electric city aquarium anya whitehead eyewitness news a lot of people awaiting that name reveal all right anya thank you we'll